Tom, as you know, this is our first effort at a, a video invitation. Uh, it's our first effort at, at video uh, as a medium to talk about what we're doing in our ministry and what's going on here in Hinesville, Georgia. And as such, uh, we just would ask our, our observers to bear with us because we clearly don't know what we're doing, uh, but we're attempting to do what we're doing to the glory of God. In that light, I would uh, say that we have recently posted an invitation to a gathering in Liberty. Uh, literally, the name of the, of the invitation is an invitation to a gathering in Liberty. And it is a gathering of forerunners of uh, men and women in the body of Christ, sons and daughters, to come together to hear what the Father has for us instructionally. This is sort of a, on the heels of a series of a lot of other meetings that we've hosted over the years, many of which have been relatively small but tremendously significant in a spiritual sense, regional meetings, uh, for lack of a better word. We sense this meeting will be considerably larger, perhaps in numbers, uh, but people literally from all over the planet are, will, will be here. I think we'll, we'll even have uh, some folks here from foreign countries. But this invitation to gather is, is under direct instruction from the Holy Spirit. As you know, I am a real estate developer by trade. That is my aspiration. Uh, God often and divinely intervenes and interferes with my desire to be a real estate guy and places these burdens in my heart that relate to bringing the body of Christ together in a common purpose to hear what the Holy Ghost is saying to us for these times that we're now living in. This invitation to gather uh, in Hinesville, Georgia, on March the 18th, will begin on Friday night, March the 18th at 7.30. It will commence again on Saturday morning at 10, and then again briefly on Sunday morning at 9. So it'll be a weekend conference. Uh, it, it literally will involve an itinerary that, that we feel the Holy Ghost is orchestrating, and it will be not only a time of praise and worship and gathering as a corporate group, but we also sense that God wants to develop intimacy in these forerunners, in, in these, uh, this, this called out remnant uh, to speak to us individually and begin to connect the parts of the body that are called to be connected. If you think about the body which Christ used in comparison to our body, the nose has very little use on the elbow. Uh, the eye has very little use on the foot, but when the toe is connected to the foot, it functions as it is designed to function. And we feel like as the body comes together and begins to connect specifically to the parts that it's called to be connected to, not only does it initiate destiny, but of, but of greater design, it initiates God's purpose in the earth. So the joining part of the body, the coming together of the body, is very significant to the sons and daughters. The whole creation is groaning for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. And part of that groaning, I believe God's heard that groaning and he's beginning to manifest true sons and daughters, those who live by the leadership of the Spirit and only move by God's Word. Uh, they do not move out of their own ambition, they do not move by their own volition, but move only by the Spirit. There's a company of those people, and that company is growing ever larger every day as more and more people enter into that complete surrendered life where they only move by the leading of the Spirit. Without a proceeding word from God, they do not move. Whether it's in business or ministry or mission work, whatever it might be. And this company of people largely will be who's in attendance at this meeting is those who have such a hunger for God and there's such an intimacy with God, for them to come together and gather in the southeastern part of the United States, literally from all over the world, uh, is significant. It's very, very significant. And this invitation, this video invitation, is to all who come in contact with this invitation, you are invited. If God puts it in your heart to be here, 
we very much would like for you to be here. We, we don't really know fully what may or may not transpire here, but we know that we know that we know that God has orchestrated this. God has called this for his purpose and we sense such an excitement, it's, it's, almost, uh, it's almost overwhelming, uh, the excitement is, the anticipation. We're moving into the most exciting times the earth has ever seen as the corporate body of Christ, the true corporate body of Christ begins to emerge and that now begins to gather together and begins to connect. This is a form of Christ upon the earth. Uh, it, it, is, it is the corporate expression of Christ and we're just in the very beginning stages of the gathering aspects of that. And so there are others all around the world who are hosting these gatherings uh, for God's purposes. And this is part of the connection of the body that's called to connect. Um, we're excited about it. We just leave it with you to pray about. Uh, we, we ask that, and, and humbly ask that you uh, just lay it before the Lord. And if it's his intent for you to be here, then nothing can stop you from being here. I wish I had a, an itinerary or an agenda to tell you about today. Honestly, I don't. If I, had to, if I had to pin one thing to it, it is this. I believe that there, is, there were so many collective anointings in this group that these anointings will flow over into everybody there. And it, there'll be a strengthening, there'll be a, a, a part of God's government and order that's released in each individual life who comes in contact with this. And that order will change things, not only in their personal lives, but it'll change things in the corporate body. I think we're living in Isaiah 9, verses six and seven times, where the government of God, the kingdom of God is being released in the earth today. We're seeing as the world system continues to, to fall into states of demise, the kingdom is emerging and it is emerging in a powerful way. I've said for years that I thought the first evidences of the kingdom may be in the marketplace. Uh, the famine in the land today uh, is a great indicator of where the kingdom will arise today. And I think that's maybe initially in the marketplace, though it will spread over into many other uh, many other aspects of the kingdom upon the earth. But I'm excited. I hope all who hear this will pray diligently about being here. Uh, we do have scholarships. We have a scholarship fund set up for those who cannot afford to, to pay their way. And uh, there's no cost on, the, on attending this at all. The only cost you have is the cost to get here, the cost of your stay in a hotel and your meals. Uh, so there's no cost to the conference itself, but we have set up a scholarship fund for those who can't afford to pay their way to get here or to stay here. So if you are interested in that, then you can contact us. Uh, we'll be providing contact information on our website very soon. soon. That website is uh, lighthouseprophecy, one word, dot org, www.lighthouseprophecy.org. So there will be details uh, of the conference listed on the website. And if one, if, if any of you need, have need for the scholarship fund, then if you'll get in touch with us and you can reach us at 912-876-2626 and ask for Tom Pollock and ask specifically about the scholarship fund. And that will be used on a first come first serve basis. So if you do have that need, Feel free to call us, and if it's still available, we'd certainly be glad to offer it to you. And Father, we just thank you now that you are doing a mighty work. Uh, you're releasing your favor. You're releasing your power into, into your people. You're bringing about an authority that has never been seen in the earth before. You're releasing uh, the government of God in the earth, and we thank you that you're allowing us to be a small part of that. We just pray over this meeting and pray that your will be accomplished in all that takes place on March the 18th through the 21st in Hinesville, Georgia. In Jesus' name, amen.